Hi, I'm Don Morse, the founder of Core Elements Training. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate soft tissue release or STR to the gastrocnemius and the soleus region of the lower leg. Okay, so STR is considered one of the heavier sports massage techniques or a heavier massage technique. So you would use this after you've already warmed up the area. So you might have already done your full leg effluage and petrissage techniques, um, identified where the hypertonicity is or where the muscle tension is being held um, before moving into this heavier movement because we always want to pre-warm the muscle before going in with those heavier pressures. Okay, so STR, or which is sometimes known as pin and stretch, essentially what we're going to do is we're, lock, we're applying a lock to the muscle tissue. So we've identified where the tissue is holding the tension. And then from here, we would either apply the lock with knuckles, we could apply the lock with elbow, or we could apply the lock with the forearm. If it's more of a trigger pointed area and a smaller area that you want to pin or lock in place, you could also lock with the, um, the thumbs and reinforce with the thumb. One of the key things with this technique is you want to keep the even pressure whilst you're stretching or taking the muscle into a stretched position. Okay, so it needs to, you need to be able to um, keep that even pressure throughout the movement at the associated joint. So for gastrocnemius, we want to have the muscle in the shortened and relaxed position when we apply the lock. And so for a shortened and relaxed position for gastrocnemius soleus is in um, plantar flexion, which the client is already resting in. So we would have the muscle tissue in plantar, or the foot, sorry, in plantar flexion, so the muscle's in a shortened and relaxed position. Okay, then I want to be able to move the associated joint into a stretch position, which would then be um, dorsiflexion here. So I want to be able to move that ankle joint between plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So one of the ways that I can do that is by resting the leg on my leg here. Okay, I've identified where the tension's being held. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the client's foot, make sure you've got the weight of the foot and they're not assisting you. So I'm taking the foot into that plantar flex position. Now I'm applying the lock. Now from here, okay, I've got that firm pressure and I'm going to take the foot into a dorsiflex position. Okay, then I'm gonna come back and stretch. Okay, come back and stretch. And generally, you would repeat this from between three to six repetitions. The first couple of repetitions for the client will feel quite intense. And then after that, once the muscle starts to trigger a stretch reflex, it will start to feel easier and you should get more movement around the associated joint. Okay, so then I'm going to take the foot back into that plantar flex position and then release the lock. Okay, then I would then lower that leg back down and palpate the area to see whether some of that tension has reduced. If it has reduced, we could then follow up with our effluage techniques and our wider massage treatment. If not, and we've got a band of tension through those fascicles of the muscle, she might have also tension below. So what I could then do is come back into that position and then put my lock on lower down or specifically treat that soleus region. Now with the soleus, it's a smaller area of the leg. So we could again come in with the knuckles or we could then grip, depending on the size of the client's leg and the size of your hands as a therapist, we could place a nice grip, or we could use the side of the hand here as well. So to decide what position you're going to use to apply that lock, but again, the foot is in that plantar flex position. And then you've got that lock on, and then either actively or passively, you're then going to do those repetitions, three to six repetitions between plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So at the moment we're doing this passively, okay, but then from here I could get the client to take the weight of the foot, okay, if you got that. I can then reinforce my lock, that's it, and then if you um, point your toes or draw your toes towards the shin, that's it, and then come back again. Excellent, so the client's moving between plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. Okay, 
and then when they finish then just take the weight of the foot again release your lock and then lower that leg back down and then you would palpate to feel if that tension has been reduced so that's one way that we can do soft tissue release um, in the gastrocnemius and the soleus region Another way would be having the client's feet hanging off the edge of the couch, um, which is really useful. And especially if your couch is quite high and it's not comfortable for you to lift your leg up onto the couch. So if you get the client to then shuffle down to the edge of the couch and just make sure that they're far enough off so that when they take the foot into dorsiflexion that the back of the foot here isn't pressing into the edge of the couch especially if you've got um, some of those um, couch mechanisms at the end there so exactly the same here we would um, take the foot into that plantar flex position we would apply our lock um, and then from here either actively or passively you would then get the client to go into that dorsiflex position so you could show them first of all what you mean by dorsiflexion and then take them back into that plantar flex position and then allow the client to do that themselves. So they're doing the movement actively. And then when they're doing it actively, you can then reinforce your lock with the other hand. That's it, keep going. And we'll do two more of those. Brilliant, so instructing your client through the movement. And then when you finish, take the weight of their foot again and then release that lock. Yeah, and exactly the same if we were then coming more into that soleus region. Soleus sometimes works better with that knee bent because remember soleus doesn't cross the knee and that enables the muscle to relax a little bit, but it will still work when that leg is straight. So again, decide on how you're going to apply that lock or whether you're going to do a digit lock. So from here, um, I'm going to use the side of my hand to get a nice firm grip. The foot is in that plantar flex position. I'm then going to show the client to go into that dorsiflex position, come back to plantar flexion and then enable them to do the movement. Excellent, and I'm now reinforcing with my other hand on that lock. Good, and one more, and then come back. Excellent, and then release the lock. So, and that's a quick demonstration of soft tissue release um, or using soft tissue release to reduce tension in the gastrocnemius and the soleus region of the lower leg. This is just one of the examples that we cover in our Level 4 Sports and Remedial Massage Diploma course. If you'd like to find out more, then please visit www.coreelements.uk.com. Thank you.